Okay, well, there's a Farm Folks. It's a Kickstarter that's coming out. They put up this tweet about jiggle physics and they get one side roasts them, the other side laughs maniacally at the absolutely absurd Uddy that they have left behind. But we're gonna take a close look at this because of course, of course, Black Girls Gamers got involved on this and there is so much more that's happened here. Uh, it, it's just it's just another one of these stories of, well, maybe you shouldn't have did that, but it was absolutely hilarious and maybe you shouldn't have retracted it. Don't forget to like and subscribe today because I got more things to show here today. So this all started out with this tweet. Of course, I have a couple archives. This was posted up on Reddit. Uh, they recorded some of the more interesting uh, responses we got. All right, folks, it's time for some serious game development talk. We are tinkering with character physics in Farm Folk. Burning question, which version has the perfect breast jiggle physics? Absolutely hilarious with the ongoing stuff that's going on for Jago Physics, namely talking Stellar Blade, talking Baldur's Gate 3 with the uh, crotch physics that they brought out. So, you know what? Play into the meme. You have a Kickstarter coming out. Play into the meme. Actually, just <laughs> make it hilarious. So, this is going to be a very public lesson for you on bringing community Discord discussions into a large public platform with multiple multitude of layers that have to be considered. We thought this was a good idea to post. Fire your marketing team. Honestly, it's a hilarious post. Don't fire your marketing team. Do more of this, game devs. Trust me, do more of this because people will flock to your games. Call me crazy, but this ain't the usual demographic for cozy farming games women. Poking fun at men in some way in the game would have been gotten you the outrage you needed to promote the game instead of sexualizing women or post some cute outfits. This definitely got my dot dot dot. I don't know what else they said there. Uh, <laughs> Black Girls Gamers chiming in. That ain't it. Really? Really? That ain't it. Are you going to get up out of your chair and uh, perform what Will Smith did to Chris Rock? They're, they're, they're just going to come out and just throw that fist around or that hand around? Marketing tactics in 2024 is so exhausting. You guys knew this would spark controversy because of Stellar Blade right now. And whether people like or dislike it, people are talking about it. Is this really necessary? Yes, it was necessary. It was hilarious. And that is the part of it. What the bibbity bobbity F is this crap? <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it responded with some absolute gems, absolute hilarity, but it was all for nothing because they turned around and the, took down their tweet and apologized for it because they got brigaded. It was absolutely hilarious and honestly, there was no reason to apologize for it because in all honesty, you want to talk about jiggle physics? We're talking about jiggle physics in an adult rated well it got adult rated it was actually meant for teens but we're talking jiggle physics in uh baldur's gate 3 where they sat there and they did a stealth edit to the men in baldur's gate 3 so their crotch would bounce it's not no m-rated game where their target audience was mature people like stellar blade walking around there with the tightly skin suits in there and using all the assets that they can no this was a farm folks that i'm guessing is some farming game that's a knockoff of pal world or something i have no clue what this game even is but this is a lesson for devs out there do hilarious things and have fun with it but don't turn around and delete it because you get brigaded by many, many people sitting there telling you that this is a bad idea. Stand by it. Keep those ideas going because ideas and natural discourse will lead you to actual sales. Being genuine will lead you to being real. But it was all for nothing. 
Hi folks, or hey folks, we'd like to address a recent post we, where we came to our community asking for feedback. Our intent was always to connect and grow with our players, but it's clear that we really missed the mark on our recent community feedback post. For that, we sincerely apologize. Never apologize for, for the woke going out there and absolutely brigading your post. Uh, we have received concerns about the female player modeled breast physics in the past, and we thought we'd ask uh, the community what felt more appropriate. Well, hey, you know what? This It's an appropriate question at this day and age, is it not? Okay, well, we're, we're making a character, we're making tunes for an anime-style farm game. What really is the most appropriate jiggle physics that we can have in a game seeing everyone wants to be up in arms about it let's let's throw it all to the wind and say what at what point is it too much jiggle physics at what point should we say no and they put scales out there and then they were like you know what we could even go they even had another post where they were like we can even take this to 150 percent if you really want to see some bounce and jiggle with it but no they sat there, they put it out there, they got brigaded by the by the, the woke people that sat there saying this is the wrong way to approach these things. Well, what what do you want them to do? You're you leave all of us guessing. We don't know, nobody knows from one day to the next what's right or what's wrong anymore, because it's all dependent on the day and age where you put the new chip into your brain and suddenly that's the worst thing out there on the internet. That's why. Devs like this go, well, okay, well, maybe the community or maybe Twitter will have the answers. And they make a hilarious post that everyone sits there and just, you know, but they apologized. They apologized. They took down the post and said, oh, we're sorry. We shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have asked for feedback for honest, constructive feedback because that's what people don't get nowadays. It's literally you get back nothing, right? Savvy journalist. Um, Huh. So, she had chimed in on, on the post, of course, and of course, it, she responded to one of the Black Girls Gamers posts out there. If you actually looked at the work we've done over the years, rather than just interacting, uh, internalizing LaBelle, you'd realize that this stupid tweet, catch this block. I'm just really interested you wouldn't want a game to market to as many demographics as possible. Why do you find natural breast physics offensive? Seems really anti-woman. You know, uh, this is Black Girls Gamers. This ain't it. Uh, as you can imagine, boobs are sensitive subject, especially since women have been subject to a lot of vitriol in gaming lately and the latest discourse regarding sexualization of characters. If this is indeed uh, has body positivity intention, then in the future it may be worth changing the copy of a tweet to reflect that, i.e. body positivity. For the vast, vast majority of normal people, human beings, including women, boobs are not a sensible, uh, sensitive topic, at least not as sensitive as you seem to be implying here. Lighten up, not everything has to be a thing. You know, and back from, from Black Girls Gamers, the immediate reactions say differently from women who saw the post. I could tell you right now, my wife and most women out there would sit there and laugh their asses off at this. It's absolutely hilarity. And you want to say, yeah, uh, you want to say you did something wrong? You didn't. Truth is, Farm Folk Games, you did nothing wrong. You all just weird and hate fun. That's exactly what it is. Celebrate women. Celebrate what you have. Celebrate those assets and do whatever you will. <laughs> Black Girls Gamers... They, 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 they're just prudes. They just want to sit there and take all the fun out of games nowadays. They, they, they just want to sit back and be like, no, you're, you're not allowed to be, do that. They're sensitivity readers after all, right? You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. You're stereotyping. What do you want from, what do you want from developers when they now have to tread through the, the vitriol of everything online and get told a million ways to Sunday that you're not allowed to do these things. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is where we are. 
indie develop indie devs at this point do what you will with uh, with your games if you want questions if you want reviews on your games reach out to reach out to the people and reach out to twitter <laughs> you know what in all in all input here the, what I, what i can say is maybe put out a tweet if you're an indie developer put out a tweet and say listen we're working on a game and we'd like some honest feedback we're looking for some people to give honest feedback to it please reach us in our dms or something like that and then they could post there and so be it if then people leak whatever those dms are well that's on them that's on them they they sure as hell can learn to own it and that's what this situation is all about anyway i've been your proud canadian phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here it, it's an absolute ridiculous day for this one indie dev um it sucks that they apologized I, I i honestly think they've done more harm than good with that apology because it was an absolute hilarity everything that transpired out of this and the tears and the salt that came from it was just next level but whatever you do you i guess have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.